What crazy things could you do at Mach 25? Just think of how many hot dogs Joey Chestnut could eat at that speed. Well, it'd actually be zero because the force of air resistance would vaporize him and his hot dog. But while some use speed for indulgence, others use it as a tool for innovation, like advancing space travel. Coming up, we'll explore one company's mission to make space travel easier than your daily commute. All of that, plus our pick of the week, coming up. Varda Space Industries is a visionary company. They recently launched their third capsule, W3, aboard Rocket Lab's Pioneer platform on SpaceX's Transporter 13 mission. The W3 is designed to test hypersonic re-entry technologies and is carrying a specialized inertial measurement unit, or IMU, that was developed by the U.S. Air Force and ISSI. However, unlike standard IMUs found in smartphones, this advanced system is built to withstand extreme speeds exceeding Mach 25. The program aims to fast-track hypersonic and re-entry tech using cost-effective high cadence platforms for extensive data collection. The data collected will aid in developing future hypersonic and re-entry technologies, but that's just one mission Varda is vying to accomplish. Coming up, I'll share with you the company's other health-altering aspirations, as well as their world-first achievement. But now, let's check out our featured product spotlight, sponsored by Mauser Electronics. Amphenol Advanced Sensors Cryogenic NTC Thermistors are heroes under extreme temperatures. They're designed for temperatures ranging from 25 degrees Celsius to negative 196 degrees Celsius. These thermistors offer exceptional stability, no hysteresis effects, and withstand rapid temperature cycling without degradation. Featuring a pressed disc thermistor with number 27 AWG silver lead wires, they are ideal for cryogenic control applications, including liquid level detection, temperature measurement, surge suppression, and compensation. With the ability to function below nitrogen point using appropriate instrumentation, these thermistors provide reliable performance in demanding cryogenic environments. To find out more, visit mauser.com today or click the link in the description. Varda is not just focused on making spaceflight as common as launching satellites. Starting as far back as their W-1 launch in 2023, the company achieved a groundbreaking milestone by establishing the world's first space factory. Varda space factories seek to leverage microgravity to manufacture advanced materials such as fiber optics and pharmaceuticals, and then send them back to the U.S. Varda claims manufacturing new drugs in microgravity could have a significant impact on human health. This is an exciting company to watch, but I do believe those prices are going to be astronomical. And with that silly lead up, it's time for our pick of the week. For this week's pick, we focus on the future of war because, you know, this is the fun part of the show. Over in China, the country with a 5,000 year history, the age old battle question rages on. Who has the advantage, air or ground? I don't know, looks like the dog got in a couple good shots. Hey, that's going to do it for us. To stay updated on the latest EE news, be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos.